Hello my friends. Today we're going to make a fun interactive card. So let's get started. To, get, uh, to stamp our first image, we're using one of these balloons from this set, Up, Up, and Away from Stampin' Up. I have it mounted here on my block. I'm using this polka dot balloon. And we're going to use our markers to color and stamp this image. So I have three colors here. I have Bermuda Bay, More Mustard, and Rose Red, all from Stampin' Up. And I'm simply just going to color directly onto my stamp these three colors. So I'm starting with the more mustard down on the bottom. Then I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay. And I'm using the brush tips. And I'm going to go ahead and do my first line there. And it slightly touched the more mustard. So I'm going to scribble on my scratch paper to get the orange off of it. And then continue coloring. Okay, and then my next color is the rose red. So again, I will brush it right up against the Bermuda Bay, scribble on my scratch paper to get off the blue, and then now continue coloring. Okay, to re-moisten my stamp before I stamp it, I'm just going to breathe heavily on it, and then press firmly here on my cardstock. And now we got a nice three colored balloon image there. Then I'm taking the bottom basket portion of that stamp set. I have it already stamped on my Stampamajig here in this corner. And I'm going to use that to line it up and stamp this basket on the bottom of this balloon. So I'm going to line it up where I want it. Use my jig here. Get my black ink. ink it up, move my transparency, and then stamp. So it lines up now perfectly. So now all I have to do is cut this out. I already have one done here. So here's our little balloon cut out. But we're going to set that aside and start working on the card base. What I have here is a card that is five and a half inches tall by four and a quarter wide and I actually chopped off an inch and three-eighths off of this one side so it's shorter and we're going to make this interactive over here so I took the scrap piece that was cut from this card I cut it down an eighth and then um, an eighth on the top and an eighth on the bottom so that it's slightly smaller as you can see there Okay, and so we're simply just going to decorate this card front a little bit. I have a piece of designer paper here from Crate Paper. This is an older set, um, probably back from 2009. And I'm just going to stick that here on this card front. And it's cut down to four and an eighth, which is what this width is by an inch and three quarters tall. And now I'm going to use some Baker's Twine. This is from Stampin' Up! This is the Cherry Cobbler. And what I'm going to do is cut a strip a little bit bigger than this card here. And I'm going to use my glue pen. This is from Zig. And I'm just going to create a line right above this designer paper and this is just some glue in a pen format okay and then I'm going to press this twine right into that adhesive and just let that dry while that's drying I'm going to tie a little bow with the same baker's twine so just making a loop and tying it And then pulling on the strings here to make it the right size. Okay, and that too I will stick on, but I'm going to wait for that glue to dry. So I'll set this little bow aside. Then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Here on the outside, I have this set from Paper Smooches. And I'm using this one here that says Thoughts of You. And I'm going to stamp that in the same black ink.
and I'm going to stamp that right above that baker's twine. Line that up. Okay. And I'm just going to add the three little dot, dot, dot with a black pen. Because we're going to stamp on the inside as well. Okay, so on the inside, I'm going to stamp the phrase, lift me up. And so for that, I'm using my Lawn Fawn Smitty's ABC set. I have all the letters to spell out the words right here on my block. And I'm going to stamp that here on the inside. Just make sure it's behind the flap and straight. Okay, so there we have thoughts of you, lift me up. And now we're going to get to the interactive portion of the card with that balloon image. So what we're going to do with this sliver is, I actually measured in halfway of the width of this piece of cardstock, which was 5 eighths, and I measured up about um, 5 eighths up. And I just drew a line. And now I'm going to use my word window punch. This is from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to punch along that line. So I'm going to line it up in my punch upside down, try to get the line centered on the punch. So I'm going to punch that first punch out, and then just slide my cardstock over to get the rest of the line and line it up with my first punch. If you can see that in camera here. So I'm going to line that up as best I can, make it straight as possible. That's really important. Okay, and then punch that out. So now I just made myself a long slot here. Okay, that's going to go here on this side. And to make the balloon interactive, what I have here is a button, and I have two dimensionals stacked on top of each other. And then I'm going to have this piece behind this slot and then have this balloon attached to it and then that will slide up and down. But before I do that I'm going to add the adhesive to the back of this piece. Now to get a nice clean edge I'm using this dimensional tape which comes in a roll and I'm going to actually cut it in half since it's quite large. I don't want it to interrupt with my slot that I cut. So I'm just going to roughly measure this with my eye here cut it down, and then I'm going to cut it in half so it's thinner. The main thing here again is you don't want it to interfere with your button sliding up and down. Okay. So now that I have that raised, I can now stick this to my card. Okay. There we go. So now this piece slides up and down, and the card closes well. And I actually forgot to do something. I actually wanted to add some orange sponging, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm just using, this is Chicken Feed ink from Jenny Bolin, and I'm just using a sponge. And I'm just going to add it to the top. So now I'm going to stick this balloon to that dimensional. And so now this balloon slides up and down, which is fun. Okay, it says, thoughts of you, lift me up. I'm going to go ahead and trim this twine down.
And then I'm going to add my bow. I'm going to add it right over here on this side. Just adding a little bit more glue. And then stick that bow down. And there you have it, a fun interactive card that may cheer someone up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.